Hello and welcome to a new video about plummetics. This time we are going to talk about a special form of cylinder. We are talking about rodless cylinders. Huh? There is a piston? Yes. There is a rod? Piston rod? No. How is this working? How is this working? So, I show you some concepts. Okay? So, we said there is a cylinder. Somehow like this, yeah. two connections usually, yeah. and there is a piston inside, yeah. but there is no rod. Yeah. So I can move the piston to the left, left, <laughs> I can move the piston to the right, okay. Yeah. But how do we get, how do we use this movement? One simple way is that there is some sort of band mounted This band is exiting the cylinder here Here are rolls where this band is moved the direction of the band is moved and up here we have some guidance uh, and we have a slider guided on the top of the cylinder uh, and suddenly, if this is moving internally here, yeah, we will shift, well, the other way around. Yeah. If it travel in this direction, this will travel in this direction. If it's travel in this direction, this will travel in this direction. Yeah. So there are rolls which simply connect the piston to some sliding power, to a slider. Yeah. The slider is even guided. This with this guidance, huh? this is a great benefit of such constructions. This is also true for different type of constructions I just going to show you. Those elements which are moving there, huh? they do have guidance. There are bearings, whatever, yeah, they're guided. So they can they can hold some some torque. Huh? This is beneficial. Yeah, because I can apply force here in every direction. The force not suitable for the band is simply taken by the guidance, by the bearing, and that's it. Yeah. Those things are also called linear drives. Okay? So those things, those things are linear drives also. Pist are uh, rodless cylinders. And other big benefit of such things is that you know, it's shorter. Huh? You don't. the The movement way is already the, the the length of the cylinder. In a standard cylinder, you need the length of the cylinder and traveling more. Huh? So it's shorter. Huh? So there are movements possible up to ten meters. Okay. So this is this is beneficial. Okay. So. Shorter, guided, can apply torque, long, long ways, uh, up to 10 meters. So with this band, one possibility. Another possibility, I was all again just draw the cylinder. So this is the cylinder. And in there, this is again the piston. Yeah. However, now the piston is simply not connected to the output at all. Huh? However, we do have here some magnets. Series of magnets. Huh? And 
on our slider, on the outside slider. Yeah. They're the counterparts of the magnet. So we are connecting this, these two things with the help of a magnetic field. Magnetic coupled cylinder. Huh? Also one possibility to enjoy the movement without rod. Huh? A third possibility would be uh, a cylinder with an open, with an open tube. How is this working? I will try. I will try to show you. So there is the tube, okay, and it's splitted. So there is simply, there's simply a gap. It's not full, the tube. Huh? There's simply a gap. Now, so this is this is the tube. Yeah. Air would get out, right? Right, it would get out. Yeah. Let's imagine there is the piston. Yeah. I'll make it another color that we can imagine better. Yeah. There's the piston and this time it's a longer piston. So between, here this is the piston, between this circle and this circle there is the piston, it's not really necessary, the piston is sealing, okay? Where we need to have some sort of sealing is here, huh? before and after the piston. Huh? And there we do have a sealing band. Okay. So this band is pressed from the inside towards this gap yeah? and so it's sealed here, yeah? also here. The band is sealed, the band is sealing this gap in the cylinder. Yeah? And here, after the first part of the piston has passed, yeah, we can remove this sealing band. Yeah? So it's guided somehow inside the piston and we can pull it down. Yeah? Here. So this, this ceiling band, here the cylinder is actually open. I can see inside. Yeah? I can see inside. This ceiling band is now, is now uh, away. And I could, from the piston side, yeah, if the piston is now looking like this, and actually these are two pistons now, yeah, and in between they are somehow connected here, yeah, and we can grab outwards. Okay, and suddenly we are outside the cylinder. Yeah? So actually, this is the cylinder. I will now try to visualize, to visualize it with, with thicker lines. Yeah? Here we are grabbing outside. Yeah. Here we can see the cylinder, cylinder walls, yeah, actually, does not look too bad. I hope you can imagine. So between two ceiling pistons, yeah, I can open the cylinder by simply pulling away this, this band, this ceiling band, and then I could grab around the ceiling band and go outwards. And now I'm outside the cylinder. Actually, the constructions, this is the basic principle. However, the constructions are a little bit more sophisticated, of course, eh? because there's also an outside band, a dirt band, which does not seal really the air. However, prevent dust from falling in. And this has also been removed here. Yeah. But basically, this is how it is working, okay? 
So, uh, a sliced tube. Also a quite usual concept. Huh? From the explanation it looks a little bit tricky. Huh? But once you understood how this is working, huh? it's clear. From the, from the side view it would look like this. Huh? Here is the cylinder. Up here we do have this slice, huh? this hole. Then we have here the cylinder, the, the, the pistons, two pistons. In between, yeah. here is the ceiling band, sealing the hole. Here we can pull it down after this and here we pull it again up. Yeah. Before and after cylinder this is sealing the, the hole in the, in the tube. Yeah. And in between I can go outside okay and there is then whatever I want to move linear drives or uh, rodless cylinders okay now there's also no no danger of bending yeah so there are some benefits But usually, it, you know, they are more expensive because they are simply more parts. It's not that easy than an, an ordinary cylinder, so they are more expensive. However, like I said, they, the, the, the benefits are long guided rails are possible, up to 10 meters. Compared to standard cylinder, they are short. Yeah? And that's basically it. Yeah? So there is no, no risk of, of bending this the, the rod because there is no rod linear drives rodless cylinders next time we're going to talk about yet another special cylinder next time we're going to talk about rotary cylinder yeah? cylinder is moving linear and then we rotate how this is working I will explain in the next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye